hello students welcome to uh, fourth class so in the last class we learn regarding the orgel diagram features so today we will go for the next term of the orgel orgel diagram so these are the following ground terms symbols how they split uh, in the the crystal field splitting here so if it is s orbital we know that it is having the one then p three orbitals d five orbitals f seven orbitals g nine okay and how they are going to split if it is s orbital c a 1 g okay only can symbol we are giving in this way so it is p t 1 g t stands for triplet so a stands for single e stands for double and 3 uh, stands for triplet degeneracy uh, terms okay so if d is phi is there phi orbital subshells so you can see t 1 g and e g so 3 plus 2 phi so f 7 orbital 7 subshells is there so you can see here t 1 g t 2 g 3 3 6 and 1 7 so similarly g 7, 8, 9, so 3, T1G, T2G, EG and A1G, so total 9, or, nine orbitals, so like this. So this is how the Mullikan symbol uh, is been given, okay. So why, where we uh, are going to get uh, help of this is in the splitting here, the crystal field splitting. So you can see here for orgel diagram, it's a simple uh, diagram here. So these are the different uh, configurations d1 d2 d3 d4 so d5 you leave it out okay so because of half field exactly so so no split uh, no splitting and uh, no transition is uh, observed here then uh, d6 d7 d8 d9 again d10 you take it out because all field orbitals and that's why again here there is no transitions now these are the uh, these are the uh, terms like this you can take it d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 d8 dn like this okay and uh, you have to remember the ground terms for d1 and d9 always a doublet d is a ground term d2 d8 tri the triplet f and triplet p is a ground term d3 d7 quadruplet f quadruplet p is a ground term d4 d6 pentad d is a ground term these ground terms for the splits you can see here triplet p for d2 and d8 so triplet p splits into triplet p1 g p only one triplet f splits into three triplet a2 g a1 g triplet t2 g f triplet t1 g f like this similarly you can see here quadruplet for for d3 and d7 quadruplet f quadruplet p is a ground term quadruplet p splits into one quadruplet t1 g p Quadruplet F splits into again 3 here, quadruplet A2G, quadruplet T2G, F, quadruplet T1G, F. So, these you have to practice, okay. So, splitting you have to practice it and this will be very helpful to draw the original diagram and for the representation of the spectras. Now, you can see here simple diagram, original diagram. I think in the last semester you have learned this. So, this is a review for you. So, like this, so absorption versus uh, splitting factor, crystal field here, delta naught. So for tetrahedral, octahedral, you can see here for the system D1, D1, okay, 10 minus 1, D9 here. So D1, D9, okay. Now 5 you can add here, 1 plus 5, 6, D6. And here you can minus 5, so D4. So tetrahedral D1, D5, octahedral D9, D6 becomes this one. Similarly, opposite of this, you can write this side. So tetrahedral, octahedral. So here, see tetrahedral D1 is there. So you can write here D9. Octahedral D9 is there, so you can write the octahedral D1 here. So opposite of here, this side you can write, and this is a diagram for this configuration now. Okay, E2, E2, T2, T2. This is a, and this is no splitting, zero. E0 is equal to zero splitting here, like this. So this becomes a diagram for these configurations of orgel diagram. Very simple, no need to buy it, just to understand this, and it becomes very simple now to draw the diagrams. Now what terms is left here? So D1 d1 d9 d6 d4 so this configuration is over but d2 d8 okay so this is left d7 d3 so you can see here so d2 d8 d7 is the same thing here d2 10 minus 2 d8 then you can add 5 so 5 6 7 so d7 minus 5 d3 like this you can remember opposite of this is here and this is a diagram see here triplet f triplet p so triplet f splits into again i have shown you here so triplet f splits to how much triplet a1 triplet t2 triplet t1 similarly you can split here here a1 triplet like this t2 like this and t1f like this so this is triplet of splitting over now triplet b you can split here like this t1 so that's why you have to mention here p and cut it like this okay downwards and t1 you mention here p because t1 already is there t1 
G so already is there so that's why we have to mention here F and you can mention here P okay now see so here one diagram is over and here another diagram other configuration diagram is over now so this is about the original diagram very simple so keep in mind practice it in the home so uh, it's a uh, no need to buy it so if you buy it then you will make mistake in the examinations now see one example for titanium hexi for plus 3 so this is d1 system titanium plus 3 so d1 system so it gets absorbed so a transition takes place absorption at 20300 uh, per centimeter and you can see here the absorption vary and that's why this complex is violet in color this complex is a violet in color so you get here one absorption like this here so and violet uh, violet color so how does you uh, how you can show this transition with the help of original diagram so this you see here so this is d1 system and if you see this complex titanium hexaqua so d1 system uh, plus which complex is this six means octahedral complex here now d1 system just you see the diagram here so d1 system you come here now where it is d1 system this is tetrahedral so opposite of this yes it is octahedral so here it comes so this side it comes d1 so octahedral means what the transition from t2g to eg so see here so you can show t2g eg so this is a 0 0.4 0 0.6 that is delta naught value so this is a transition this transition is which transition so t2g1 eg0 to t2g0 eg1 so this transition is there because of which the spectra because of which this uh, titanium hexaqua looks uh, violet in color because of which it looks a uh, violet in color so this is how we have to represent the examination with the help of what or gel diagram okay then we have learned regarding the broadness so why this is very broad in nature why the spectra is broad so in the last class we have learned so many things in, uh, among that so, uh, so we learned regarding jahan uh, teller distortion this is that this is a, this is the reason why because you can see here <coughs> when you when you uh, shift the electrons so t2g3 eg so here one t2g1 eg0 is there so when this electron in the presence of sunlight okay so you uh, when the right is uh, been applied here what will happen now this one electron which is present here will get excited to these orbitals so here either it may absorb to 3x square minus y square or dz square see here so either it may go to this orbital or this orbital that means so you can see here so there is some degeneracy like this like this okay so you can see uh, that uh, there is a lifting of uh, lift uh, degeneracy is lifted here so degeneracy is uh, lifted here because of uh, unequal um, uh, of uh, the electrons placed uh, either in the um, x square minus y square or z square uh, orbitals here so degeneracy is lifted here and because of this this is the one reason why uh, the spectra uh, is going to be uh, seen in a broad way so this is one uh, extra thing uh, in this class we have learned today similarly now if you go to another complex example so hexa aqua copper you take plus 2 complex plus 2 complex means you know that copper plus 2 d9 system cd it is a d9 system again here octahedral now you see here so if anybody if uh, if question comes that represent with original diagram yes how we can read now you can come to here so d9 system see here so octahedral is there here it is tetrahedral that means quite opposite here yeah here it is d9 octahedral see here that mean transition will be what quite opposite of d1 that is e2 to uh, t2 so come uh, this t2 to e2 is there so d9 will be quite opposite so like this so d9 will be here t2 to so here already t2 so here it will be e2 to t2 this will be the transition for d9 system quite opposite see here. is it right and same thing here also degeneracy is going to observe because of it the uh, absorption spectra will be broadened so here also degeneracy will be there so 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 see here so whenever you pass light here what will happen this electron the here it is whole is it right so here it is whole is there so hole will shift now here down so there is shift of hole down and one electron is going to transfer here so like this so this is you are going to get here and because of this absorption so you can see that uh, uh, this complex is a little bit bluish in color so like this uh, you can show the transitions you can show the transitions uh, uh, with the help of uh, original diagram so d1 d9 we have shown it you can go for nickel d8 d7 
so it's a homework for you you can calculate uh, uh, different uh, from d1 to d9 uh, you take some examples so this two uh, this one diagram will help you so now see d1 d9 so you can take any system of d2 system vanadium you can take or nickel you can take d8 system cobalt d7 you can take so like this you can do and uh, try in the uh, home uh, uh, in, to put all these spectra with respect to uh, with the help of the original diagram so okay and this is a splitting remember it mullikan symbols and this how it splits so this uh, becomes this completes your uh, the brief introductory part of the original diagram in the next class we will uh, we will learn uh, we will take some uh, uh, different concepts of this uh, uh, original diagram splitting and all uh, uh, along with that uh, we will start the new concept that is ts diagram so which is very much important again hope you uh, got this concept here so thank you